Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to simplify radicals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So, before we start simplifying these items on the board, I would recommend that you need to memorize the first 10 perfect square numbers, starting from 1 up to 100. So what is the reason why we need to memorize those perfect square numbers? Because it will help you in simplifying radicals. Example, we have the first perfect square number, which is 1, followed by 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. And these numbers are all perfect square numbers. Now, sir, ano pa importance yan? If you encounter the square root of 25 and you know that this one is a perfect square, you can easily identify the square root of 25 is simply the base, which is 5. Same with 49. What is the square root of 49? 49 is a perfect square and it, it is a result of 7 squared. So if you will be asked, what is the square root of 49? Your answer is 7. Same process, what will happen with number 1 up to 100. So let's start simplifying radicals. In item number 1, I gave you only a variable. We have here the square root of x to the 4th power. By the way guys, if you cannot see any index outside the radical sign, it is considered or understood that your index is 2 because in radical, radical expressions, if your index is 2, you can hide it or you can express it as invisible. So here, binabasa natin to bilang square root of x to the 4th power. So the question here, how are we going to simplify or what is a simplified form of x, of square root of x to the 4th power? The answer here is simply x squared. Sir, what happened? Why is that the answer is x squared? I can process that in guys. Yung simple process na to ay since ang ating, ano dito, ang ating index dito ay 2, when you convert this, alam na natin ilang ano x to the 4th power to, diba? When you convert this into a uh, rational form, it will become x raised to 4 over 2. And simplifying in 4 over 2, that is x squared. And this is the answer. So another way dito guys on how to simplify radicals ay dapat marunong ka rin mag-convert ng isang radical form into rational exponent form. At yung link ng video natin dyan ay nalagay ko sa ating description box. Pero guys, since perfect square kasi itong x to the 4th power, so bakit po perfect square? Dahil divisible ba siya by 2? Okay? So we can easily identify what is the square root of x to the 4th power. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Kahit di mo na siya i-convert into uh, rational exponent for Pinakita ko lang kanina. Now, let's continue. Sir, so how about number 2? x, square root of x raised to the 7th power. Your exponent here is not divisible by 2. So, what will happen? So, basically guys, what you, you need to do is you can factor out actually x raised to 7 and it will give you this one. x raised to 6 times x. Sir, why x raised to 6? times x. We know that when we add the exponents, it will give you y. And I chose x raised to 6 instead of x raised to 2 times x raised to 2 times x raised to 2 times x because 6 is divisible by the index of 2. Therefore, x raised to 6 is a perfect square number. So what will happen here is to get the square root of, you will get the square root of the two factors the square root of x raised to 6 is simply x cubed. So you will put it outside, and if you will be asked yourself, uh, what is the square root of x? The answer is the square root of x. So the final answer right now, guys, is simply x cubed times square root of x. Gato binabasa guys, x cubed times x times square root of x. That is the answer for that. Let's continue with item number 3. As you can see, we have the square root of x cubed y to the 5th power. We have two different variables. And as you can see, your exponent 3 and 5 are not divisible by 2. 
are not multiples of 2. So what will happen? We will continue factoring. We will factor x cubed wherein one of the factors is a perfect square. So ang factors ito guys, ito. We have x squared times x because x squared is a perfect square. And yung ating y cubed, y to the fifth power naman can be factored out as y raised to 4. And then times y. And then get the square root of each factor. The square root of x squared is x. So we will put it outside. So yung x na natin wala siyang square root. So mag-remain siya sa, sa loob. And then y to the fourth power, the square root of y to the fourth power is y squared. So this is y squared. And yung y natin wala siyang square root. Therefore, may iiwan si x at si y. Therefore, our answer right now for item number 3 is simply x y squared times the square root of x y. Ganun lang konsepto ng items number 1, 2, and 3. I hope na nakuha niya. Now let's move on with item number 4. We have a number. But as you can see, number 32 is not a perfect square number. So what will happen? Same concept if... If your radicand is not a perfect square, you will factor out wherein one of the factors is a perfect square. So let's think, what are the factors of 32? Uh, that is 16 times 16 times 2, wherein 16 is a perfect square, and then times 2. And for x squared, as is na siya, because x squared is a perfect square. So let's get the square root of each factor. The square root of 16 is 4, okay? This is 4. And square root of 2, wala siyang whole number na sagot. So it will remain inside as your radical. Your x squared is a perfect square. So the square root of x squared is x. So the answer here is simply this one. 4x times the square root of 2. Let's continue with item number 5. For item number 5, we are given 8x times 50 x raised to 18. 50 is not a perfect square, and itong x raised to 18 natin is a perfect square. So what we need to factor out is only 50. So we have here 8x times 50. The factors are 25. We have here 25 times 2. And then x raised to 18. And the square root of 25, guys, is 5, actually. So what will happen if we have um, expression outside the radical is that you will copy this, 8x, and then you will multiply them with the square roots of these radicands. 25, the square root of 25 is 5, so that is times 5. So 2 is, will remain inside. And then x raised to 18 is, the square root of x raised to 18 is x raised to 9, so this is times 5x raised to 9, then copy, square root of 2. So, we're not yet done because we can still simplify this. We're in 8 times 5 is 40. Then x times x raised to 9 is x raised to 10. Then copy this one. So this is the answer. The answer for item number 5 is simply 40 x raised to the 10th power times expert. That's it guys. Mukha lang siya mahira pero kayang kaya. Let's continue with item number 3. For number 3, this one is a cube root. Cube root of x of 8 x raised to the 6th power. So, the question here, sir, how are we going to find the cube root of 8? Actually guys, 8 is a perfect cube. Imagine, we have 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. And this is the same as 2 cubed. Okay? So, we can easily extract the cube root of 8. So, we can have here as 2. And as for the cube root of x to the 6th power, 6 is divisible by 3. So, this is one is a perfect cube also. The answer here is 2x squared. We only have this one. This is the answer for item number 6. Then, sure, guys. Now, let's continue with item number 7. For number 7, we are given the cube root of 16x to the 14th power, y raised to the 15th power, 
z raised to 20. So remember, this is a cube root. So the numbers here are not all divisible by by 3. So what will happen is we will factor out the radicands. So let's start with 16. 16 is not a perfect cube, but we can factor it as 8 times 2, wherein 8 is a perfect cube. And as for this, we can factor out this one as x raised to the 12 power times x squared because x to the 12 power is a perfect cube. As for the y raised to 15, that is a perfect cube, y raised to 15. This one of mine is not a perfect cube, so we can factor out as z raised to 18 times x raised to 2. And then, cube root pala to, sorry. We have the cube root of this, which is 8. So which is 2, again, the cube root of 8 is 2. Your 2 will remain here. Your, the cube root of x raised to the 12th power is x to the 4th power. Because 12 divided by 3 is 4. So x squared will remain inside. Y raised to, cube root of y raised to 15 is y to the 5th power. Because 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then as for z to the 18th power, that is z raised to 6, and then x squared will, will remain inside. So this is the answer, guys. So the answer, guys, is simply 2x raised to the 4th power, y raised to the 5th power, z raised to the 6th power, times the cube root of 2x squared, z squared. That's it guys. I hope na nakuha niyo yung lesson natin on how to simplify radicals. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving you uh, difficult questions on how to simplify radicals. Now let's have two more examples in simplifying radicals. In number 8, we are given the square root of 32 x raised to the 5th power y cubed over 8 x squared y raised to 9. So in this, this is the case of your radicals. Before I subtracting the square root of the radical, I will simplify first the radical. As you can see, we have here 32 and 8, wherein we can simplify it as 4, right? 4. 32 divided by 8 is 4. And as for the variables, guys, for the variables, yung x raised to the fifth power natin over x squared is the same as x cubed nila because we can subtract the exponent of 5 and 2, and that is x cubed. For the y variable, y cubed over y raised to 9 is y raised to the 6th power because uh, 3 minus 9 is negative 6, and to make it like this one, y raised to 3 minus 9, it will give you y raised to negative 6, and since this one is negative, you will put it in your denominator. Okay? So... As you can see, it is more simplified compared to the first one. And in this, if this is the case now, you can extract the square root of this. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x cubed is x squared. And then it will remain, or it will give us x. So I will show you the step-by-step -step process. As you can see, this is a perfect square number. This is one is a per, also perfect square, while your x cubed is not a perfect square. So what will happen is that you can you can factor out x cubed. It will give you the square root of 4 times x squared times x over y raised to 6. In which case, we can extract the square root. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of x is none, so it will remain here, while the square root of y raised to 6 is y cubed. Pero, nasa denominator na siya, y cubed. So the answer here is 2x over y cubed times the square root of x. This is the answer for item number 8. But let's move on with the last example. We're given the cube root of 16x to the 7th power, y squared, z raised to 11, over 64 x squared y raised to 9, z raised to 14. Cube root ang hinahanap natin guys. So before we extract the cube root of the radicand, we will simplify this first. So to simplify this first, we know that 
16 over 64 is the same as 1 fourth. Okay? 1 over 4. Let me write this. 1 over 4. As for the variables, we can subtract the exponents. We're in x to the 7th power over x squared is the same as x raised to 5. So we can eliminate this one. Okay? Invisible one siya. While your y squared over y raised to 9 is the same as y raised to 7. And as for z raised to 11 over z raised to 14, that is z raised to 3. And now, since we already simplified the radicand, we can extract the cube root. So what is the cube root of eto? Uh, 4 is not a perfect cube, or yung 1 fourth natin is not a perfect cube. Tapos yung ating x to the 5th power is not a perfect cube. Same with y raised to 7. So we, we will factor it out. So this is the same as cube root of x raised to 3 times x squared over 4. Walang factor si 4. Your y raised to 7 is the same as y raised to 6 times y times z raised to 3. So let's, let's extract the cube root. So the answer here, the cube root of x cubed is x. So x squared will remain inside. So this one, 4, wala siyang cube root. This one, the cube root of y raised to 6 is y squared. So we will put that in your denominator. So y will remain inside. And then yung ating z cube, the cube root of z cube is z. And then the answer is this one. X over y squared over z, a uh, y x over y squared z times the cube root of x squared over 4y. This is our answer for item number nine. So I hope guys now you learned something from this video on how to simplify radicals. So if you have any question or suggested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!